one event that someone talked about yesterday. I didn't know it was that bad. Luna, Terra to USD. Look at the price drop. Lost 95% its of its value within the last few hours, days. Uh, it was in March, it was at $120, and now it is at $1. Imagine you've invested, you've invested, uh, I don't know, $1,200, and you find yourself only with $100 left. You've lost everything you had. If you, if you have invested more and you put everything in there, uh, you would have lost uh, most of what you have. <coughs> Unbelievable. Fractalman says the arbitrage worked, though. Uh, well, those are risky, uh, risky decisions to make. I don't know enough about the technicalities of Luna to determine if these arbitrage mechanism will work or if you can get rug pull on this too. Uh, but it's a terrible, terrible event for those who had uh this cryptocurrency i didn't I, I never heard about this cryptocurrency it's a south korean crypto yan mal strongs well it was publishing uh that the luna subreddit is on literal suicide watch for everyone panicking here are some national helpline numbers for those considering suicide here's my story of attempted suicide my ex-colleague attempted suicide my friends and ex-colleague, my manager for 15 years, tried to commit suicide this morning. He basically moved all of his savings to crypto in 2021, and Luna was a massive player in his portfolio. Just wanted to tell you guys, if you feel pain and you think your life is miserable without money, you feel failure and stuff, just come to people you love. Do not be alone. This shit is getting serious. I lost over 450k USD. I cannot pay the bank. I will lose my home soon. I'll become homeless. Suicide is the only way out for me. Uh, messages of desperation on Reddit. I'm sorry to say this, but it's over, boys. You know, when someone has a dear relative that is on life support, they refuse to believe that their loved one is going to make it, even though the doctors are telling them that they're not going to make it. Well, that's an accurate representation of what's going on with Luna. I am the doctor that is telling you that your beloved project is not going to make it. It's time to pull the plug, which represents selling your remaining capital and let go so you can grieve your loss and move on with life. I'm very sorry for your loss. <coughs> wow. Uh, those are testimonies of despair uh i'm sorry for those who had luna but this is what's going to happen so if you're on some of these weird cryptos out there that are kind of on the side alternative cryptos be careful with this uh, personally i keep a little bit of hex and i know that x could fall to zero and it wouldn't change my life uh, so it's the only crypto that I that I keep outside of BTC and ETH uh, X because it's been it's been having re extremely good good performance and so the initial amount of money was ridiculously low that that I've put in it and so I don't mind if it goes to zero but please uh, make sure that if you own anything else than BTC or ETH. Make sure that you're ready for it to go to zero and that you're willing to hold for four years if you need to, to eventually recover its value because that's the nature of the crypto world. What went wrong with uh, Luna? Apparently a bunch of big whales have accumulated UST. So UST was the stable coin on the Luna blockchain. But it was operating, it was stabilizing its value with respect to the US dollar through the value of Luna, of Terra. So uh, the problem is uh, there are plays that you can do that crash the two or crash one of them and favor another one. When you have an automated smart contract that adjusts the number of UST you have in your wallet, uh, 
in an intelligent way so as to peg the value to the US dollar, but your pegging of the value to the US dollar is ultimately linked to traffic on the Luna blockchain and to the value of Terra itself. Now you had a couple of clever players, it seems, who have accumulated a lot of UST and they started selling it massively on the exchanges. <coughs> uh, we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars worth of USD. They sold on the exchanges Curve, Binance, Anchor, and other platforms. And while they were selling this, they were also shorting Luna. So there was massive pressure on the on the price of USD to go down, and they basically made a play on the smart contract of of uh, USD. I think uh, this event probably puts into question uh, those mechanisms for pegging the value of stable coins and whether they are exploitable. I think what we have here is a clever exploit of a smart contract feature of a stable coin. Thomas Howard says there is a fairly well-informed theory that international financial interest made a direct play to drive down Luna. They can, <coughs> they may have, sorry, <coughs> one moment. Battle Grimm says the powers that should not be don't like stable coins. No, they don't. Stephen Robinson says, Jeff, uh, yesterday Richard Hart says the CEO of Luna bought the top and that Michael Saylor will sell his leverage BTC if it hits $21,000. I don't know and don't care. Um, I I do not care. I think there's a future for BTC, no matter what these thing what these people do. Um, the CEO of Luna, I understand, has been uh, has been buying Bitcoin, and it was to convince people that he was well equipped to back the functionality of his Luna blockchain. So basically, it was a way to back the Luna blockchain with more solidity. His problem is he bought Bitcoin and then Bitcoin also fell in price. So I don't know if it was a super clever move, at least not short term, but perhaps long term uh, we'll see a recovery. As far as Michael Saylor, uh, he can do whatever he wants, um, sell his leverage BTC, as far as I know. Michael Saylor is just buying straight out uh, BTC. He's buying actual hard wallet, uh, you know, coins. So maybe he has some leverage positions. I don't care. Um, he can do whatever he wants and it won't affect the price of Bitcoin long term. Long term, I'm expecting to sell my Bitcoin in the next bull run because I'm not satisfied with how low this one went. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.